Rise, measure the temple, measure the altar, and those that worship there. Guys, there was given unto me a reed like a measuring stick, okay? Now there's two reeds. One of them is a walking stick like this, okay? Another one is much larger, okay? In both um, Revelation and in Ezekiel, an angel has a reed, and a reed is a measuring uh, device, okay? Now, there's two of them. The one in Revelation says a reed, and this is a walking stick. In the Greek and in the Hebrew, the word is kalamos, okay? So what we're doing is we're measuring um, the temple, okay? So it's measure the temple, measure the altar, measure the inner court, okay? And then it says there's an outer court, and the outer court is for the nations. That's what we're going to see here, okay? Now that's what we're doing. We have other videos on this, okay? And I'm not going to repeat that information. I might just show you in the end just briefly some things, but you have to go and watch other videos where we've discussed this. Now, the reason this is significant is the Lord Jesus Christ is going to reign in Jerusalem. Okay, I don't care what's going on. I don't care what anybody says. He is going to reign in Jerusalem. And when he reigns, this is going to be built. All right. Now, we know in New Jerusalem, the building in the facility represents people. All right. But as well, that's a thousand years away. Okay. So in Ezekiel's temple, it also represents people. All right. And that's what we're doing. We're explaining to you these people. Okay. Now. It starts with this building. Now, we know the Antichrist, the son of perdition, the beast system is also going to build a temple in Jerusalem. Everything is Jerusalem. It's by Jerusalem that you rule the world. Okay? So, this, the false... The Jews are going to build the temple. They're going to build a false temple. And the son of perdition is going to sit there. Just like it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. But after that temple will be destroyed. And the Lord Jesus Christ will reign. Okay. Now. Um, it says measure this. Okay. Now. What you do. Is you. If, if you go through Ezekiel chapters 40 through 48. It gives so much detail. I'm not going to go through all the detail. I'm just going to show you some basic things here. Okay, because this is a series, and uh, I encourage you to watch some of the other videos. In this is this playlist is called Number Way Divide, and many of these other things we've already measured, but they represent people. So let's let's measure. Let's use our read. Okay. Now the first thing we have in the center of this facility is the altar. Okay, and you can see. Hopefully, you can see in the video pretty good. This uh, altar is here. Around the altar is, in blue here, is this inner court. Now, the altar represents the man-child, okay? Then, the inner wall represents the 144,000. The reason for that is that if you measure the inside of the wall, it's 90 cubits. If you measure the outside of the wall, it's 100 cubits. That means the thickness of the wall is 5 cubits. The five cubits are the five virgins, the five wise virgins. And we have the same thing in New Jerusalem. The thickness of the wall is 144 cubits. Okay? So thus, the inner wall is the man-child. I mean, uh, the inner wall is the 144,000. The altar is the man-child. Okay. Measure the temple. Now, this is also where I'm explaining this is the Cyrus decree. This is the decree to... Build Jerusalem. That's what happened, guys. And Donald Trump, even as a false Cyrus, talked about you know the U.S. embassy being moved. That's on the decree of Cyrus. I told you that in advance. Please watch Cyrus' decree. Now, when he does, and uh, I think it is in Ezra, Ezra chapter six, Ezra chapter six, it gives Cyrus gives the dimensions of the temple, sixty cubits. Okay? Remember, all these measurements here are in cubits. We're going to get into that in a minute. But he says in the Cyrus decree to build the temple. Now, this is the temple here. Now, what the temple is, 
It's not in the center. You can see the altar is in the center, then there's a temple. Its length is 60 cubits, okay? And then the Holy of Holies is a perfect square of 20 cubits. And we, again, watch the other video. We talked about that. All right. So we have 60 cubits. Now this um, also represents people, okay? This rep represents the center is the elect. All right. Now, we also have another... Uh, um, border around this Ezekiel facility. So here's the temple. You can see this is the east gate. Um, the west, this this is a whole building, all this up here. They draw it. But it has a north gate and a south gate. Okay, and there's also measurements there. Now this whole um, diameter on the outside is 500 cubits. Okay? I just want you to keep that in mind. We're going to go through, we have our read. We're going to go through and uh, measure that. I'll show you what the actual uh, dimensions are. But it's very, very important that we understand this, okay? Because this is what he's doing. He's going to build this building, okay? And this building is being built. He's going to, the people are being divided. The people represent this, this building and this facility, okay? Now, then what happens is you have this building in the center, but on the outside, there's a larger outside perimeter, okay? And that's where we have more people, okay? This is where we have the numbers of uh, the great multitude. Remember, the great multitude is going to tread Jerusalem for 42 months. That's the thing that's happening, guys. I hope you understand this, that this is being built in the spirit, but it's going to happen. The king is going to build this, but it's people, okay? Now, um, what it tells us in Ezekiel is it gives us this figure of 25,000. Now, it doesn't tell us if they, this is something that is in cubits or in reeds. So we don't, we don't actually know this, okay? But um, by doing the math here, I hope you can see that it appears that this figure represents reeds. Okay, so what's a reed? Well, the reed is a larger uh, measurement of a cubit. Okay, so what a reed is, it tells us in Ezekiel that one one reed, now this is, this is a small reed, okay, but one reed is six cubits, okay? So what this amounts to, just to, you can see I did the math here if you want the details, but basically the, the stick, the measuring reed, is 12 feet. 12 and a half, 12.6, yeah, 12 and a half feet, all right? 12, point, 12 feet, 12 and a half feet, or 12 point six. Uh, now I can't fit anything here to get this fit in the video. So uh, that's, that's, that's a read, okay? So a read is six cubits. A cubit is, is about, you know, two feet, uh, a little over two feet, 25 inches, okay? So once we know a read, now we can go through and measure the outer perimeter of this facility. So 25,000 reeds. All right, now let's, now this math here, I hope you can see, um, gives us the symbolism. I hope, I don't know if you guys understand the symbolism of numbers, but basically, if you take 25,000 times 12 and a half feet, you get 350, 15,000 feet. Now that's too many feet. So what you would do is, you would have to determine, determine miles. So there's 5,208 feet in a mile. So you divide that, and then you come up with 60 miles. Okay, so this perimeter here that's around this facility is over 60 miles. Now, 60 is, a, is an important number because, remember, 60 is the number of cubits in the temple. So everything it, it relates to other things, okay? So that's where I believe this map is correct, where we have 60 miles so I believe it is correct that we're looking at something in reeds, okay? So this is a perimeter that's going around the temple. Now it's 60 miles, but it's not exactly 60 miles. It's over 60 miles. It's 2,520 feet. Now we know in Daniel's timeline, number, way, and divide, it's 2,520 days. These are prophetic days that are um, seven years, okay? So this is very, very significant. That's why I'm going through this to show you these 
amazing numbers. Okay, so this represents, you know, uh, a portion of the people that are in this area. Because basically what this means, guys, is the closer the people are to the Lord, the closer they are in this building to the center, okay, to the temple, to the inner court, all these things, all right? Uh, but there'll be others that the Lord said he would cast out, cast you out into outer darkness. Now, outer darkness is even farther than this because he's going to reign from India to Ethiopia. So that's the farthest uh, place from the center, if you were. Not the farthest, but within the borders of his kingdom. All right? So we have this one, which is 25,000 reeds. Now, 25,000 reeds is one section because all of this works east, west, north, south. Okay? And each one of these mes measurements is also one of four. Okay? But this is amazing. We have 60 miles, okay, which is also 60 cubits. Um, now, the next one we have is right here. Okay, this one is 500 reeds. Now, we know this is exactly reeds because it tells us this in Ezekiel. So if we do the math, that's 12.6 feet is times 500 is 6,300 feet. Okay. Now, again, this is one wall. And... This is larger than a mile. So again, we have to subtract this from 5,208, which is the number of feet in a mile, which brings us 1,092 feet and one mile. So we have one mile, which is 5,208 feet, and we have 1,092 feet. All right, now there are three feet in a yard. So, if we divide that by three, we come up with 364 yards. <laughs> and we know this is proof of Enoch's calendar. Okay, Enoch's calendar has 364 days in it. And guys, in, in many of these other structures, um, especially the 144 cubit, which I hope you watch another video, we can also see these figures of the Enoch calendar built into the structure of the tower. So, the Enoch calendar is right. <laughs> Get the calendar. But now we have this wall, which is one mile and 364 yards. Okay? All right. And we already um, talked about the 500 cubits, but here it is here. Okay, so this is our next inner wall. And the dimensions here is 500 cubits. There are 25.2 inches in a cubit. And that brings us 12,600 inches. And we divide, those are too many inches, so we divide that to come to feet, and we come with up with 1,500 feet, okay? Now that's just one wall, so if we multiply that by four, we have 4,200 feet, okay? That just gives you an idea of what this size is. But I hope you can see here the symbolism of the numbers. Let's talk about some of the symbolism. You see how this is 12,600, right? But if you take away a zero, it's 1,260. Um, <laughs> and so that, that's the uh, number of days that the woman is taken. It's the number of days that the two witnesses uh, prophesy, okay? And the same thing, we have 4,200. If we take away the zeros, we have 42 months. All right. So that... What this is saying, what I'm saying here is we have measure the inner court, and then we have the outer court, measure it not for, it is for the nations, the ethnos, and they will tread Jerusalem 42 months. Now that is the army. Now we told you about the army before, but the army is also part of the temple structure. The temple facility, okay, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the soles of his feet will reign in Jerusalem. And it's in Jerusalem where you rule the world, okay? That's where the son of perdition will go, and they will build a false temple. That's what all this is happening, okay? In the news, it's all happening very, very quickly, but it will be destroyed, and the Lord Jesus Christ himself will reign there, okay? So, uh, as we can see, we number, we divide. Please watch other videos. I'm going to put the playlist, um, and please look at the playlist. If you don't have time to go through the whole thing, 
please watch certain videos that go over some of the things I'm saying because this is a progressive teaching. And this is very, very, it's like late chapters in the book. This is like chapter 20, okay? So, uh, but before we did tell you about the significance of the number 60, it's in Cyrus's decree. He said, uh, three score cubits or 60 cubits, let the temple be built, okay? And as well, in the outside perimeter of the facility, it's going to be 60 miles and 2,520 feet, okay? So these are the seven prophetic years. All right, so there uh, we have it, guys. Hopefully, um, uh, I know there's a lot of math here. What I'll do is I'll make this uh, this this all available to you. I'll put a I'll take a picture of it. I'll put a link in the description field for this um, diagram, as well as the other videos. When we've talked about this before, guys, um, I'm just gonna mention real quick. We we talked about this in Ezekiel's temple. Ezekiel's temple is a smaller version of New Jerusalem, okay? So we talked about it before. This here is the inner court, okay? There is also a 144-cubit inner court, all right? So, uh, again, I'll have a, a link for this, okay? But now what we're doing is we're expanding that larger. Now, this one is very significant because this 500 reeds, you can see I have it here, gives us a furlong, and a furlong is how you measure New Jerusalem, okay? And so that's, that's guys, there's one, you know, there's just a couple little things that you must understand in order to come to these measurements, okay? For example, 25.2, the number of inches is a cubit. This whole thing is based on this number, okay? Now, other people will say, oh, it's this, it's that. This is the secret cubit, all right? It says in Exodus, and it says in Ezekiel that you must go by the... This um, sacred cubit, all right? It's a cubit and a handbreadth. So the handbreadth is the point two, and a cubit is 25 inches, okay? And I have other videos where we talk about this and how I came up with this figure, but it's all people, okay? So hopefully you can see that now what's happening is that the king's decree, the 42 months start, okay, to reign in Jerusalem, to build this temple, okay? Now we can't build this temple, until all the other prophecies must be fulfilled. But at this time, the king's decree has gone forth to be built. Now, um, as I conclude, guys, I want to show you a couple things. Um, these, are, these are some of the diagrams, guys, that um, I encourage you to get. Okay, This one is the, um, is the Ezekiel Temple, and this is this one here. Okay, uh, and, and again, just, just get this video. I can't really go over it right now, but it's very, very important. Um, the other one as well is this one, and this is also the uh, 144 cubit uh, wall. Okay, so uh, again, watch the video. Now, if you haven't watched um, the video on the Great Army uh, as well, Please watch the video on the Great Army on the census, because in that we go over the numbers of the people that are forming the army that's being formed right now. All this, uh, you're going to be part of something in this. OK, I don't know who you are, or what your role is, but you're here. If you're a believer and you're close to the Lord, you will be part of these figures. OK, so again. This is the census army. It represents um, 207,600,000 people. Okay, and what we're saying here is those people are represented in this um, structure. Okay, so uh, here we have it. Um, again, please watch these other videos, um, and as well, um, if you've been following this channel, hopefully you, this makes sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, like I said, um, number, way, divide. That's what it says. Many, many tackle parents in Daniel 5. Okay? So here, we're, this is what we're doing. We're measuring the people. We're measuring to build Jerusalem. Okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, I thank you for all you that are paying attention to these end times, paying attention to these things. 
they will manifest themselves in the news, in the world around us, but it's so important. There's so much confusion. Um, people are saying things like, you know, Jerusalem is the eternal capital of Israel. Well, it is. But who's Israel? <laughs> the people that are there, you know, maybe some of them will make it. But you must bow to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to reign in Jerusalem. Glory to his name. So thanks for watching. Watch and pray. In the county where you escape all these things. In Yeshua's name. Amen.